What the f <laughs> How the f do you have this? It was on eBay. <laughs> what? Yes. Oh my god, dude. It was on eBay. <laughs> Welcome, 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 welcome back to another episode of the Floycast, the biggest podcast in optic gaming. Yeah, why, why is it, why haven't we been uh, nominated for any awards? Streamies, streamer there, awards, there's Grammys, podcast awards, right? What? There's podcast awards, right? If there's not, we should start it and just nominate ourselves. Yeah, and just nominate ourselves. Call the. You know what surprised me? What? People might not think like. Like I looked at, it just randomly popped up, but like our flycast with Dead Zone, and it mm -hmm. was at like 30k views. And yeah. I was just like, like people might look at that like that's not good, but I was like, 30k. Why? I was like, why are there 30,000 people? Why are there 30,000 30, people fucking watching? Dude, this? starting your own podcast is like the scariest shit. Cause like every once in a while, I'm like, like I overthink and shit. So like I'm sitting every there once in a while. Yeah, every every yeah, night. It's rare. Yeah, it's rare every day. Other, yeah, uh, but I'm just sit, I'll sit there and I'm be like, what am I? What am I doing? Like, why did I start this around the bar shit? Why am I putting you so love much that around the bar? I shit. love it. No, it's, it's my favorite thing. Do you thing. love podcasting? Uh no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love, like. I think Hex does, and that might be the only person who actually. I like it. talking. I like talking to people. I think you like what you're doing with the around the bar. I really like that. I really like around the bar, but that's just because I'm I'm talking to people that I don't usually talk to. Yeah, and like asking like the one with Asai is super dope because he the one with who the uh, Asai I just did one and he's been he's been streaming and making content for ten years in Guitar Hero, <laughs> so that was super interesting. Really? Yeah, how do you yeah how do you find these people? Uh, you had like a pro paintballer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, I, like how the I, fuck? I had I just I have a lot of like niche little like interests, and when I find a niche interest, I like try to find who's crushing it in that scene. Like, did you fly the um? Like, do you fly them out? Yeah. Well, the, for the just, for the first ten episodes, like, sure. Yeah. Do well, they like not really know you? Either? No, no, no. All everybody I've had so far has known. They who, like know. Optic they know. And, okay, yeah, they okay. know me, or like we've linked up before, or something like that. So I haven't, I haven't had like complete strangers on yet. Uh, which hopefully, I mean, I hope I do eventually get to that point. But, um, yeah, but like having Mike on talking about battle rap, I'm having a uh, Thesaurus and Ilmac are both flying. No yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Both flying oh here to be God. to do it. Uh. We're, we just got to figure out a time. That's they're, fucking sick. They're both battling this month. So, yeah, like that that shit is super fun. Yeah. But then when I'm sitting there and I'm like, damn, like, because because podcasts start slow. Remember, remember, like when we upload vlogs and like if it doesn't have 10K in the first hour, yeah, you're dead. like, oh, shit, yeah. dude, these pods will get like 650 views in the first hour. And, and I'm like, like, dude. And you're afraid you're going to check back tomorrow and it'll be at like 1.7 1. 1. or yeah. something. But like the the Nick Falco episode, uh, which is the highest viewed episode, the first hour it had 600 views. And I was like, dude, but like you can't think that way because it's not a it's not a vlog. It's yeah. not a video. It's a podcast. So people are going to watch on the way to work. No matter no matter. If yeah, it's a year from now. Exactly. And now. And now the Nick Falco episode's at like 120,000 or something like that. Like yeah, it's, it's up good. there. So yeah, it's, it's one of those where, yeah, the noisy butters episode got 36,000. Uh, yeah, it's, it's doing all right. It's doing all right. Uh, it should be, it, it, it's, 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 it's a lot of fun. Do you I, get, do you get nervous? Uh, I was nervous. Or do for you the, do enough prep to where you're like, regardless of how, because some people, you don't really know them. You don't know if it'll be like, like I would get nervous not being, or being afraid that they, like some people know it's a podcast and they sort of turn it on. I'd be afraid if someone like didn't turn it on. Yeah. You know Luckily everyone I've had on, they, I was, so they get it. I was nervous for Walshy cause I didn't know, I didn't know, but he was, I mean, he's a pro. He, he's been doing this shit. I like kind of known him. I know. I, I mean, I used so to like hang out with him whenever I was yeah. shooting with you guys. 
He's the one who taught me Buffalo. Are you? How did that go again? Are you part of the Buffalo Some Club? Stupid, but I hate it. I I forget how it went. <laughs> it's like though. him and strong side. It's a drink. If you have it in your non-dominant hand or something, it's a drinking game where if you have your if you have your drink in your dominant hand, and uh, they say Buffalo, you have to chug the whole drink. So you have yeah, to keep dude. it in your non-dominant hand. And strong side comes up to me. I mean, this is fucking eight years ago now. And he's like, "If you buffalo, you're buffalo for life." And I was like, "I'm in." And and then you did it for a weekend. And, and I did it for a week and totally forgot about it until I just did the podcast with Walshy. So you don't really <laughs> you don't really get nervous. Like if I not for me, well, it depends. These are all like my if are, Ilmac and Thesaurus. I might get nervous for yeah. that one. See, but these <laughs> Dude, that's cr- these are like I'll, I will. I watch all of these, but I'm definitely, <laughs> but I'm definitely, gonna I'm watch. definitely watching the Ilmac. See, these the are Sarah's all one. like my buddies, though. Yeah. Like everyone I've had on so far, um, yeah, they're all like they're all like my 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 buddies. But the the yard guys like Nick Falco and Aiden, like I, they knew who, we we were like mutual friends. But like when I'm when I met Aiden, that was the first time I'd ever met him, and so that that was the first time. I think that's the first time that's happened in around the bar. I had met everybody else before, but, uh, but yeah, I had Nick on and then, and then I'm going to have slime on too from the, from the yard. So, uh, what's the yard? It's a pod. It's a podcast in it's a podcast. Ludwig's podcast. Oh, that's what they're. Yeah. It's like Ludwig and his three friends. And then, I mean, they're, they, they have like a hundred thousand patrons on patreon <laughs> remember didn't we <laughs> no, say that like once like we should start a patreon and do dude i had a whole plan for the fake optic house whenever we thought everything was going under we were going to be old guard yeah i had remember? a whole i had a whole fucking old guard patreon thing but uh that ended up not we should have clutched up with that i've got a present people gave a shit we got a present for you for the for the for the a set. present <sighs> What the fuck? <laughs> How the fuck do you have this? It was on eBay. <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh my god, dude! It was on eBay, <laughs> bro. I hold on. Let me see. This is a real one too. I believe this yeah. is Cloud's actual shrunken. What size is this? This is a large. It doesn't look like a large. Yeah, no, it's been shrunk to shit. Fuck, dude. Cloud, don't tell me you're out here selling jerseys, man. I don't. I don't I, think it I was hope cloud. He's doing all right, I don't man. think it was cloud. I think. I mean, how else? I, I think kind, someone found I would, it. I would kind of almost believe it though. That it was cloud. Because cloud has been like so far separated separated from it. And I don't know. I hope he's doing well. I haven't talked to him in so long, and like he was, he was like my best friend in gaming for a while. Yeah, yeah. he was so good. Fucking dude, this is. He was a coach for amazing. a little bit. I almost want to. I mean, we can keep it here. But I almost want to like reality check frame it. Reality check put it in my side. game room or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, you can do it. It's a present for you. You can leave it here, or we can. You can. Bring How much it home. was this? Uh, like forty dollars, something like that. Fuck, dude. Yeah, this is so much. This is worth so but it's much. Wor- it's worth so much this more. That's so why I got epic. it. Fuck, <laughs> man. Wow, this is amazing. Yeah. So, uh, if I don't know if anybody, I don't know how many audio listeners this gets. But uh, it's a it's a BTH uh, believe the hype jersey, an original BT and a- yeah. the actual jersey MOG would give us the, back in the day. The uh, the sponsors on the sleeves are Dr Pepper Stride, <sighs> Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty, Old Spice, and Bungie. <laughs> wow, that just made me happy. Yeah, so fuck. That's that. Believe the I hype. need to find my jerseys. BTH. I think I can't remember if my mom like shipped them out to me or like your BTH jerseys. Yeah, your, your I need to find mine. Get them framed or did you did something. you have noble jerseys or were you all in hoodies? <laughs> Dude, I don't even want to talk noble. Did I was on noble? <clears throat> they're not like a orc or anything anymore. I right? don't know if they're. But if I was they are. on noble black for like we were always. I was always believe the hype. Literally right, 2009, right. 2010, 2011, 12, 13, 14, 15. I was always believed the hype because it's somehow I never really got dropped. Like it was always me manipulating my teammates (laughs) that, yo, we should do this. They haven't tweeted since 2000, 2021, but noble black was like, yo, well, I think they were like, we'll pay for your flight hotel. And we're all broke as shit. We'll pay for your flight hotel. And we'll give you like $200. So I was like, 
All right, right we'll go it, with we'll N, go NB baby. RIP with RIP BTH we'll go with Noble Black. And then we did that for It was just it was literally it was kind of just like I I can't even remember if we like signed anything. I think we might have si- signed something, but it was just like a two There was only two more events for the year. Yeah. And they knew we were going to like make it to um Worlds back then. They knew we were going to make it to that, so they were like, fuck it, we'll pick them up, just do like a two, it was basically like a two-month contract. But then we get reality checked, I mean, that doesn't have to <laughs> doesn't have to do with fucking anything, but get reality <laughs> checked, and then go to finals, and we get third. And because we got third, people were like, damn, you guys are like fucking good together. And Because this was weird, it was me, Ares, Arcanum, and APG, and like, Ares and Arcanum that was when you guys they had They aren't getting top three. Is that when you guys had... Like, they, they'd be getting like top 12, top eight. You tied on Sanctuary like five times Yeah, like shit? we should have gotten second. Like we choked. We should have gotten top two. We weren't going to win the event. I mean, maybe. I d- did it Who before. was it, EG? Yeah. yeah. Snipe down it. lethal Roy lunch. <laughs> <clears throat> but somehow, some way, we got third. <clears throat> Impressed everyone. Nobles hype as shit. Like they think they have their like next... Like, oh, we'll finally have yeah. like a team that'll like represent us. And then, <clears throat> fuck, something's in my eye, something's in my throat. <laughs> um, so Noble, I think after the finals when we got third, there's like a little bit of buzz. We had that huge crowd at the PAX event. They thought they'd have us or like we'd continue going with them. And then I don't know why I took, then I got the offer from Optic. And I don't really know why I took it. I think I was just like, not I think I idiot. always I always respected status quo's teamwork, ace, um, ace enable, flame, assault. I never looked at them like the best players, but I always like respected their teamwork and they always placed consistently, they always played consistently. And it was like something I wanted to be a part of, but of course I take the best player spot, enable. Um so we didn't perform as good as I wanted whenever I switched over. But I got the offer from Optic, and I was kind of like... Did Enable leave, or did he get dropped? Or he I went think to, he switched to COD. He went to COD. Just, he went to COD, yeah. So <clears throat> they had a spot open. I ended up joining them. I think I talked to my team and shit, and they were like, dude, no. But I was like, bro, this is like, this is kind of a career choice because it's Optic. Flame said I can move into the house. Like, without I'm a, he- I'm without start, asking Hex. Without asking Hex. <laughs> I'm going to start vlogging. And it's weird because I didn't have... I've never done any of that. I was never into vlogging. Like I, it, I just kind of fucking w- fell into it. I winged it completely. Yeah. Um. But so when I decided to join Optic, Noble, um, was like, "No, you can't do that. You signed a contract. Um, like you've already stated you're leaving, but your contract doesn't even end for like a few weeks, and like that's not allowed. So we need Hector to buy you out." And I was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> dude, the event's over. The contract's up. Yeah. And they were trying to get Hex to, like, buy me out for, like, 500 bucks. So it wasn't... It, think of that. Back then, dude. like... And even $500, I was like, are you fucking kidding? Like, because... Yeah. Back then, now buyouts are 400 grand or something. But back then, even just the fact of them having the balls... Like, the events are over. Contract's over. Yeah, I don't care what it says on the actual contract because I I I guess I technically left before the contract was up. Like, like I, I needed before. another week. Yeah, but like the season was over, so like the contract so should be. No, up. And and there was no Halo to be played for a year and yeah, a half. Yeah, no Halo to be <laughs> fucking played because <laughs> everyone's waiting for Halo Five at the time and H two A is over yeah. basically, right? And they uh and they were trying to get Hex to like buy him out, and I just told Hex handle it, and I hit think. Hex just like talked to them and they were like, all right, yeah, don't worry. Yeah, about it. Okay. But like ever since then, I've just had like a a bad taste in my mouth about them. About Noble. Yeah. Uh, well, they're not around anymore. I already checked. Yeah, well, hope hope they're doing all right. Hope Cloud's <laughs> hope Cloud's doing all right, man. I hope that wasn't him selling the jersey. Kinda. I don't think it was. It actually makes me a little sad. I don't think it was. Text him. I don't I, even know if I. I mean, I, I have his number. But I don't. I, I don't. I mean, I I'm don't not going to text is. him. Well, actually, I might text him a yeah. picture of the jersey. Yeah, just text him a picture of the jersey. Fuck, man, the good old days. Yeah. Back when all I would do was wake up, play Halo, and just like, I mean, I don't really have much to do now. Like but it? it just seems different. Dogs, girlfriend, drive here, do podcasts. 
do other random content stream like back in the day it was just it, yeah. it's, i don't do much now but back then it just felt like you were so free to do whatever you want man and just take so much adderall stay up for days it didn't matter it just felt free but i was also super depressed yeah but the good old days of just like being in the skype calls with cloud clutch demon skype calls normal dude. lethal dude skype used to be the shit we'd be in skype calls till four five six skype was so skype was so unorganized too like discord is so people organized. hacking your shit from skype getting yeah. your ip exactly Somebody joins, you don't know who it is, so everyone leaves. Yeah, like, bro, God. <laughs> Skype really choked. Like, Discord came in and just swooped everything. I don't even like Discord. I mean, it makes... It, it's, it's so, so organized. Weird. It's so organized, though. It's so organized, but it's so organized. Like, channels, I look, I look at my channel, and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> No, I just the, see all these hashtags. Because there's my... I see 10, yeah. 15 different rooms. <laughs> No one's, no in, one's any, in, in any of them. <laughs> some are like maxed to four people. Some are locked. Some have permissions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like someone, will, someone will join my Discord. I have to give them permissions. I'm like scrolling down roles. I have like a yeah. hundred different roles. It's just like I don't know. It's so complicated. <laughs> but back in the day, it just used to be so simple, man. Just life in general. And I've been thinking about that a lot lately. Not to always. Don't want to promote the use of Addy, but there was something. There was something about it. Like I've really, especially since grinding Halo Infinite, and there's like this dude. There's a Cloud Nine like 5K tourney this weekend. You're like, I'm just like it would like fuck it would. I'll be like I want to play, but I don't want to play sober. Like <laughs> sitting there in between matches sober. Dude, or I, like in losing. It's I, just, I'm sitting there. I'm sitting like, there. I miss the feeling of just being fucking locked and I'm just having that rush of and winning the game, making an upset. Fuck, I just don't have that anymore. I'm, I'm sitting I feel there so on my, fucking like on my PC, and I'm I'm downloading VODs for Vision, and as I'm not streaming and or anything, and as I'm downloading the VODs, I just see you sign on to play halo and i'm like i wonder uh, like six, six seven p.m yeah and i'm like oh i guess he's live and i check and you're not live and you're so like, then i sent you a dude get it together and i'm like look at us man you're playing halo off stream i'm sober doing vision sober i'm glad neither one of us have caved i mean i just don't have a plug uh, oh i mean no, a, choice. a choice i mean i <laughs> just technically <kidding. laughs> i like i could always do it and just fucking no, like no no fuck that like i don't know if the, obviously i'm not gonna have to be in here for a week i could obviously go home today and do that but fuck that shit my it's... girl would be pissed i would go into zombie mode and they would just it's just not worth breaking like the streak yeah it's 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 so bad dude but i do think like in like five ten years one day i'm just gonna like hopefully make a bunch of money and i'm just gonna be like i'm gonna take this month off and i'm going to it sounds so bad saying relapse <laughs> it sounds so bad saying relapse it's because it, it is bad but it's just me taking adderall and playing halo 3 it's not like i'm fucking <laughs> dude halo 3 is finally gonna be dead in five years Finally, think, yeah, after 20 right years, now. no one is going to be playing Halo 3 anymore unless they re-re-release -re -re it. Do, do you get... <laughs> For the Xbox 6, re-re-release of Halo 3. Do you find... Uh, do you find dope anymore? Especially in video games? Like, I feel like I've... I think Dude. I abused it so hard that it really did affect my brain I, in I, negative ways. I have possibly had... for life. I can't focus on anything. I feel like I can't read a book. I can, if I do try to read, I like can't remember paragraphs. My memory seems fried. Like I think it did some damage to me. Oh, it for sure did damage to you. Like it, without a doubt did damage like, to I you. Like I think my brain is still healing and I need to like find something to like like get in the chest or something and like force myself or force myself to start reading or I haven't I did haven't something found, to my brain. I haven't found dope d super I haven't doped up with when it comes to like competition in like ye like two years. Like probably even even playing the kickoff tournaments, like I would try, 
But like when I'm game five round eleven, I'm not nervous, which is when I know that like yeah. and it's not I'm not nervous because I'm so locked. It's just like yeah, you know. That's how I feel. That's kind of how I feel playing Halo Infinite now. But I mean, like I shouldn't be nervous just playing fucking matchmaking. I mean, but rank it, having like loving your rank. I'm more like depressed when I'm playing. <laughs> Loving your rank is not something that I don't think there's anything lame about that. Like to like Blake and George are like obsessed with Val. Like they're obsessed with their Valorant rank. I wish. And like I mean I'm super happy for them cuz that's dope. But like I wish I had that. I, that's why I kind of want to get into chess too. Cuz I know I'm going to start so bad. I'm going to start as a 100. Yeah. And like try to work my way up. It's sort of it's sort of fun starting Starting like, even when game. I started playing Valorant, I've I hated I hate the style. Like I don't like S and D. Like I went respawn games. Right, right. But like Valorant starting off, it was like I, I took like a month or two break of streaming, and then I've probably explained this before. Just like every episode, just going over the same shit. Um, but I took like a two month break from streaming or something. Came back. Like obviously subs are all the way down, and I was like, I'm not gonna worry about viewers. I'm not going to worry about subs. I'm, I just need, I want to find something, come turn on the stream, hang out with chat and just enjoy my day every day. So I did that with Valorant. I was like, we're, we're just going to get into Valorant. I started playing Valorant like two days in. Bose was like, yo, I just, or Bose already had it downloaded, which was fucking weird. <laughs> Why does Bose have Valorant downloaded? And then like started playing with him. And at first it's funny because you're so bad, but then you start making plays. Like I imagine in chess, you'll be terrible, but then you're like, you'll win one game where you're like, oh my, like, oh, like, shit. oh sh like you'll get I a had little bit of dope. Rook to four eight, exactly. Yeah. Um, but you'll find like a little bit of dope, and that that sort of happened with Valorant. Like it was fun starting off being so bad, then eventually you get sort of decent, then you match better players, then you start being on the top of your team. Then you get into shit talk fights with your teammates and you start raging. Then it starts getting serious and like me and Bose are actually trying to win. And it's just like a, it's a fun, um, I don't know. It's a fun little journey, like starting something new. But then I reach a point, like I did that with this, uh, this game Clash Royale on the phone. I started off and it was fun. I would win like 80% of my games. So it was fun. And then now I'm at this, at, at a point where I've like, I mean, there might be a few people that play the game. But I have like 6,000 trophies. Dude, it's like the most popular game on the phone. <laughs> like, it's, you get a match within one. If yeah. I hit start and then I'm like, I try to cancel it. So it's like, already. I just already have a game. It's so popular. <laughs> um, but I started playing that randomly. And like I had my deck and I got used to my deck. But just as I got better and better and played better people, I had to like start making adjustments to my deck and using different champions and learning different what different champions do and blah, 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 blah. And then... Now I'm at like 6,000 trophies and I'm still using the same deck, but I can't fucking win and all I do is lose now. So I'm just like, I kind of, I don't know. It started, it kind of, I need something new again. And I don't know what. What's the other? Clash of Clans? I downloaded that and I was going to try that, but then I was like, no. Dude. But I, Clash of Clans. It's fun starting I feel. Though. I think Clash of Clans changed everything for the phone. It seemed like, it, it seems like it's, the Clash of Clans is like, the game's been going for you 10 wanna years. You want to update your building, it'll take seven hours, or you can pay $3. Oh, so good. And, dude, I can't. You can't like, wait that, seven hours? That kills my buzz. Mm. I'm not, like, I blow a lot of money on, like, stupid shit, but, like, yeah. I can't do that. Yeah. $3, just, to, like, it's just, just it just know. feels wrong. Yeah. The amount of kids that probably spend their parents, like, just have their mom's debit card on their game. Yeah. But at least there is an option to not have to, because microtransactions. There is an option, microtransactions but. are one thing, but like, like uh, Mystic, one of the guys I had on around the bar, he like blew up on Pokemon Go, but he started on Clash Clash of Clans, and dude, apparently Clash of Clans YouTube's go go insane because yeah. even to this day, and the game's like ten years old. So like, if there's that many people watching videos, I can't imagine how many people there are playing. Yeah, I've, I've I've like lost my attention span to even just watch. Like when you lay down at night, what do you do? Uh, recently, cr um, like do you just hang out. Movies? No, I haven't watched. I I mean, usually a YouTube Shows? a YouTube video or two. 
and then I go to bed. Like I, I just can't fucking lock in. Like I want like to find a TV show or something, but I just like stare at my phone and my brain just goes crazy. And I just, I just want to like lock in on something. Like start the wire and just Did you ever, you actually the enjoy the TV show. No. Put your phone Bro, there's away. There's only like one show I've actually watched and it's Breaking Bad. Put your phone away and watch The Wire. It's so I, hard to put the phone away. Just put it away. Just put it just put it away. Especially lately just since put it I away. Sen- since I tw- since I tweaked my back, they gave me um I mean, I guess I relapsed. I tweaked my back, they gave me painkillers and um what painkiller? And a steroid. I think it's like called prednisone. Like, or a steroid shot. The steroid. The, they gave me two steroid shots. They gave me a steroid pill to take, and then a painkiller. They gave me prednisone and like cyclopazine or fucking something. But it almost gives me the Addy crash feel. Like it. Like my sleep lately has been so bad. Really. Like apparently, and apparently it does affect people like that. To where like. I don't know if it gives me focus, but it gives me like that Addy crash feeling to where it's like, I'm not going to sit there and binge a show. I'm just, I'm scrolling on my phone, like left and right, Dude, refreshing could- Twitter, reading this. And it just, it made me, especially last night. And like yesterday was my last day taking them. But like, it just, it gave me that like, like I didn't fall asleep till like 4 a.m. I'm so surprised you made it here. I was, I was kind of hoping we... Yeah, you were trying to bait me yeah, into well, canceling. I, I kind of was trying to bail, but like, it's been, I'm not going to lie, I've been stressed lately. Fuck him. Tweaked my, tweaked the shit out of my back. My back was already tweaked, and then I played that softball game. That's why I struck yeah. out twice in slow pitch underhand softball, because my, my back was just. Because really, your back was. But I tweaked my back. The softball game. It's all good. We still The won. one time we do, not the one time we do something fun, but we finally, that like, that's so what I love to do. Fun. That shit was so I love fun. getting everyone together, especially if, like, we did that, we're drinking and shit, or, I mean, we don't have to drink, but just like that, get everyone together and do something fun. Like, I love yeah. that shit. So I was just like, and I texted Jukin, like, four or five days before. I was like, hey, I tweaked my back. Like, I don't know if I'll be able to play. Like, I. I'll, I guess we'll wait and see. And he was just like, all right. And then the day of, I, it, the day of, it was my the worst my back had been. It just got worse and worse day by day. And I was like, yo, I'm probably not going to be able to play today. Like, I'll show up and just, like, stand there or something. Because, like, I don't want you guys thinking I'm just, like, bailing on it. But when I get there and everyone's suited up and I'm suited up, I'm like, I like this is gonna be fun. Like, yeah, I have to like let me just tighten my core, <laughs> fucking take the. It's just one or two swings. Like, take the fucking pain. Hopefully, not have to run it all. And it was just so fun to do, but it like fucked my back. So right after that softball game, I went, or not right after, but the next morning, I woke up and I was like, oh my god, this is bad. I went to urgent care. I, I told them I was like, yo, I'm not gonna. I gotta go to urgent care. Like, I'm not gonna be able to make content. And then they gave me um, muscle relaxer, steroid, and the steroid's been keeping me up. My fucking, and obviously my back pain's been keeping me up, and it's, it's like depressing not going to the gym. The junior's been sick, like not eating. Milo's, Michelle's dog, which is like, I mean, it's practically my dog now. Um, Milo's... First, we were finding like these like warts all over his body or like cysts. Okay. Um, just like these random bumps. And at first, it started like, oh, you feel this bump? Oh, that's weird. And that was like a few months ago. And now it's like, bro, there's like 20 of them on him. So we like took him and like we, God knows what it could be. And we took him in. He had to get like them cut out. So he went under. And then we get him back. And then like suddenly his legs aren't, wor- his like back legs aren't working. So we're having to like sort of carry him around and it's like obviously hard for him to use the bathroom. He's crying all the time from like, we think he's in like random severe pain and he's up all night. Michelle's like sleeping on the floor with him. Like he's yelping like at night, like it's like, and it's so like, yeah, they are just animals. And like, it was, it's, it's not like it was like my dog that I got. I've had it for 10 years, but like I've known him for like, I've known that dog for like two years and he's like such a like fun personality that it's just like, it, it really is just like stressful. 
yeah thinking the worst yeah. of like what could happen with him like his fucking legs aren't haven't really been working his back legs haven't really been working for like the past week we've taken in like we he got an x-ray um michelle's taking him in today for an mri like he's gotten put under like three times in the past three weeks jeez dude but it's just super fucking stressful like especially at night like i don't know what happens to him but he just starts yelping and crying and i don't know it's just been so michelle's fucking sad and yeah, crying she's imagine. obviously overwhelmed like i'm i'm even like super sad about just thinking the worst like like yeah. what if something does happen and he's paralyzed or it's like like is he gonna turn into like a fucking wheelchair dog where he has like fucking wheels on his back legs like it's it's just like sad thinking about yeah so i don't know i've just been fucking stressed um sleeping terrible and then the whole back thing but it's crazy i didn't think i would get attached dogs are dogs are crazy like i didn't think i would get attached to a dog again yeah like i try to look at the reality of things like dog is just like a dumb animal I don't want to say dumb animal, but just an animal. Everyone's going to die. Fuck it. Like yeah, shit yeah. happens. But then when it's actually happening, when it's like, your dog. Yeah. Cause I thought the same when thing. it's your dog and it's just like, I, I used like, to you they, know, their little personality. That might be a just Southern, see them. That might be like a Southern family thing. Cause what? like dogs, like when I was growing up, dogs were like, you know, there were farmhouse dogs and you kept them outside. Michelle's dad is like, uh, Michelle's like, my dad would just take it out back, shoot it in the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like to save money exactly like, yeah like i remember like having explicit conversations with with like like or I, I explicitly remember conversations like uh with my parents and them being like oh yeah like can you believe this person spent seventeen hundred dollars like because their dog needed surgery yeah like you don't do yeah, that it's, it's just different for yeah some people and then like nowadays like Dog, if Mace, if Mace twenty thousand dollars surgery, yeah, I, I just spent th fucking three grand on Mace because he got into my inhaler. Yeah, and so it's like it's so different. It's so different when it's your dog, but yeah. it, it's also a different time, I think. Because like I think there, I don't know, I I don't know what it is, but like I think the older generation, especially in the South, was just like. What? Yeah, it was it's outside, a dog. It's an outside dogs. dogs. Like, like it's outside, like the dog can't come in. <laughs> like, what do you mean? The our, dog do our dogs are the complete. They're inside dogs. The dogs sleep in the bed with me. Chew, yeah, <laughs> they sleep in the bed. Fucking <laughs> hair everywhere. Hair everywhere. But it's like I've only known this dog for two years. Nah, right? yeah, like two years or some shit, and it's just like I don't know. Just knowing his little personality is just. And then just seeing him in pain and shit. It's just fucking depressing. This episode of the Flycast is brought to you by Vera Heal. If you've been feeling a little achy and tense from your recent ranked grind, I know I am. VeraHeal.com is committed to helping you access the medical cannabis you need with ease. The very the very heal platform is super simple to use. Just sign up, talk to a doctor, get approved, and that's pretty much it. Before you queue your next match, the MMJ card will be on its way, unlocking exclusive access to limitless resources and serious savings, all from the comfort of your home. Ready to get started? Visit veryheal.com slash optic. That's V-E-R-I-H-E-A-L dot com slash optic for $30 off your first medical cannabis card. Veryheal.com makes relief easy. Well, the, the, the hip-hop civil war has started. What happened? There are two sides. Future, Diddy or no Diddy? Future, Metro oh. Boomin, Kendrick Lamar, Rick Ross, Nav. They've all teamed up against Drizzy Drake. Nav? Apparently Nav. Fake fuck? <laughs> Actually, I don't know which side Nav's on. I think it might be... Na Nav, Nav's listening right now? He's like, what? Yeah, Nav's listening. <laughs> uh... All right, so because we, we it came out a couple weeks ago or a couple weeks ago the Drake diss and we haven't listened to it yet or we haven't reacted to it yet. Do, oh, do you want to? Can we play it? Can we play it? Yeah, well, we'll you'll to have to. Shit. I think Matt's editing this, but you'll have to cut. It's it's called like that, like that by Future. Uh, thank you, Jamie. Thank, 
and we'll, and we'll just like listen up to a part and then cut. Okay. Because like I saw pause it at certain bars. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Dude, the beat. Thug from around the world. These niggas talking out of their necks. Don't pull no coughing out of your mouth. I'm way too paranoid for threats. Hey, hey, let's get it, bro. DOT, the money, power, respect. The last one is better. Say yes, a lot of goofies with a check. I mean, all. Oh. Pause that. Pause, 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 pause. Is he calling Drake a goofy? Because he. There's a lot of goofies with, with a check. Because Drake rocks Nike and he's. Ooh. Ah, I didn't even th I didn't even he think about that. You, you want to know where I've listened I to this stand 100 on times. this? What? Completely on Drake's side. First of all, I realize I'm a pure dick rider <laughs> when it comes to Drake. Because now I'm I'm sitting there like I heard this. and I'm like talking to my stream about it. And I'm like, what? Kendrick comes out, like drops one decent verse in the past five years. Like, bro, like this is actually pathetic out of him. Like, it, like it's a decent. Like, I'm. I actually you find myself hating. You can't hate harder than the Aiden Ross clip of him hearing it. Wait, really, dude? It's it's That's funny. I'm a Drake super fan, I'm but a, he I'm, that was like the biggest hater clip I've ever seen in my really? life. He's listening completely stone faced to this verse, and I'm like, this verse is fucking good. Yeah. The it doesn't verse matter. Is good. It doesn't matter how much of a Drake fan you are. The verse is good. The verse is good. They've done it right, but immediately, my first reaction is defense, and it's just to like start. But like I'm like Metro didn't even make this beat. Kendrick ain't done shit in years. Drake's been killing it. All right, play this. Uh, wait, no, no, don't, don't play yet. First of all, uh, don't pull a coffin out of your mouth. I'm t way too paranoid for a threat. Is pure poetry. That's insane. That's too don't, much for me. And I don't. Know I know. What it I means. know you're like that. You don't. I know you're like that. I know you don't like a super in depth or super like. Yeah, even I can't even like I can't calculate that artistic right bars. Don't don't pull a coffin out of your mouth. Like don't talk shit that's gonna get you killed. Don't pull a uh, coffin okay. out of your mouth. Uh, I'm way too paranoid for a threat. So if you okay. sneak diss me in a song, I'm too paranoid for that. I'll yeah. just get somebody to kill you. Like yeah. that's a, that's that's a lot into yeah. and that's that's Kendrick's way of rapping, which is I think I think it's super. Did you see other people poetic. breaking this down and the comments were like Kendrick's looking at this like. Oh, like dude. he didn't even know he was Bro, saying this. Some people, people are breaking this down so hard that if Kendrick saw it, he'd be like, "I, this, yeah." Some sure, people, that's totally dude, what there, I meant. there are TikToks that'll pull up and is like, "Here's how Kendrick spit a quadruple entendre," and I'm like, "Dude, you are reach, you're reaching." But uh, there's a lot of goofies with a check. Probably is a hundred percent a, a double. All right. Uh, uh, my my temperament's bipolar. I choose violence. Like that's <laughs> who writes that. My temperament's bipolar. I choose violence. It makes it sound cool. It does. Uh, the other one. Uh, I hope that I hope that sentiment symbolic is also like. I hope that sentiment symbolic. Ah, uh, my temperature is bipolar. I choose violence. That's that's an insane. I haven't. Those are insane I haven't bars. Broken, I haven't broken this down like you have because I'm that much of a hater, or I'm that much of a Drake stand that I That's like. Good. I kind of put this off. Like I heard it, and I was like, "Yeah, it's pretty good." Like also, I do really like the beat, even though Metro just literally stole it and didn't make the beat. And everyone's <laughs> hyping Metro up like he fucking made it. He literally stole the like. You can find literally this beat from like a I forget what song it was. But like from like two thousands, and he just added like a like a bass like a, and like some really some extra stuff. But like the <laughs> everything's the fucking same, and uh, like mixed it up a little bit. But one thing that but before we keep going, one thing that I was because when when you hear this, everyone's like obviously there's been Drake and Kendrick beef for like or like unspoken beef for like a decade now. Yeah. So like you kind of knew that one day this was coming, but then everyone is like, why is he coming at? j cole and then you see the breakdowns of j cole basically dissing kendrick for like four years now yeah. and i had no idea he's been using the, like j cole might be the best out of the dude, three if j cole ever like really 
Because there's like we've seen Duppy from Drake. We've seen back to back. We've seen charged up. We've seen the fucking uh, the what, what I forgot what Rick Ross song where he basically goes at common for like three minutes. Like we've seen Drake yeah. really like hone in and on a I, diss track I, dude i i want something to if happen Jay cole, i don't think he's going to jake cole if J. cole did that because it was like you don't want no smoke with kendrick that's because kendrick's done this he's done the control verse he's done this verse he's done he's really gone at people drake's really gone at people push the t's gone at people fucking Fuck push the t j jay z nas like you you people go at people but J. Cole, from my understanding, has never done that. But it's and it's also crazy that Future and Drake, Drake, Drake and Future are like the goat combo yeah, of like making a with, song, and they don't fuck with each other anymore. And apparently, no, apparently, I don't know what it's over. Have you listened to this album? Probably a female. That's over. A, apparently, it's over a girl. I kind of didn't really listen to the album album because that, that, I'm that much of a hater. The first song is Future is a Future. Drake diss is a Drake diss from Future. The first song, dude. The song, the album is called "We Don't Trust You." I'm pretty sure that's about Drake. Like they That'd don't like Drake at all. The two of them, which is fucking insane. Well, to Metro's me. thing was always, "If you're Metro, don't trust you, I'ma shoot you." Or Future said that like that's way back. True, in the that's day, true. That's true. That's true. But it, it's fucking crazy. All right. My temperament by polar, by polar I choose violence. Up to this point, I'm like, all right, when is he going to start? Okay, let's get it. Okay, and let's get it. Oh, my temperament by polar I choose violence. Okay, let's get it up. It's time for him to prove that he's a problem. Niggas clicking up. Clicking up. Clicking up. Be legit. No, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. 40. Oh, yeah. So apparently that's a... Uh, Is that a diss of 40? It, I thought it was a 40 disc as well, but it's, I don't think it's or a no, 40. 40 water is someone else, isn't it? Uh, or it's something like that. E40 and Be Legit had a, had a group together called Click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so. Damn, you I, did your homework. I would never have fucking known that. I, I don't know E40. I don't know like old school rap Then like Kendrick that. just. But that's Kendrick's shit. And then Kendrick just makes it known. He's not trying to hide with this shit. Fuck like sneak dissing. First person shooter mo first person shooter, I hope they came with three switches. Which I'm guessing is three guns, three switches for to make your gun automatic, but he wants one too. That's how I that's how I took it. Okay. I hope they came with three switches because it's more than just the two of them. I'm in this bitch too, but also I'm just better. I think that's what he's saying. Okay. Okay. This the first person shooter. I hope they came with three switches. I crash out like fuck rap. This man melt if I had two. Got two T's with me. I'm snatching chains and burning tattoos. This top lost too many. Okay, you can pause it. Dis Melly Mel if I had to, I had to look up who Melly Mel was. People are gonna be like, you're not Just a real some, like, rap fan. Yeah, it's like old. He like is like the Godfather. People are calling him the Godfather of rap. Uh. Which so he don't he don't crazy. give a fuck who it is. No, is, is what he's saying. He don't give a fuck who it is. He he'll doesn't diss, give a fuck. He'll diss Melly Mel if he if has, he has to. to. He'll diss the Godfather of rap. Did you see that Melly Young Melly? What, who's the guy that's in jail? Melly, um, the I, the murderer. Yeah, the murderer. Uh, he like posted. Uh, uh, I can't uh, believe so on my something on my mind. Yeah, murder, murder on, on my, my mind. mind. Melly, <laughs> Melly, what the fuck? I can't remember his name. Who, murder on my mind. Who is that? But he like he posted. I can't believe Kendrick brought me into this d beef, and people were like, "It's not." Wait, he it's really not. posted? Isn't he in jail? Someone posted it on his account. Wait, maybe. Murder on oh my mind. Y M Melly. Y M Two K Melly. Y N W Melly. Y N W Melly. Okay. Lost too many soldiers not to play as safe. If he walks around with that stick, it ain't Andre Three K. Andre 3000 used to walk around with like doop, a, doop, doop, doop. is it is it the flute? It's the flute. Or did he used to walk around with like a cane thing for a fashion statement? Oh, it is possible. It's possibly that too. Maybe I'm thinking uh, of someone else. This is one of those ones where people like dove into what uh, J. Cole has a track called Stick. So people are like. Maybe it is about the flute. I'm pretty sure it's about the flute. No. If they walk around with a stick, it ain't Andre 3K. Okay, we're good. 
If he walk around with that stick, it ain't Andre 3D. Think I won't drop the location. I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three. Nigga, Mother it's just big me. Nigga, bomb me. It's just big me. What? I'm really like that. And your best work I'm is really like that. Nigga, Prince outlived my jack. Nigga, bomb me. Why are your dogs getting buried? That's a K-1. Uh, can you pause it? He's calling himself Prince. Yeah, so he's he in the mask off remix. I've I've watched a, a lot of Jesus in the mask off remix. Uh, he calls himself Prince, so he calls himself Prince in a lot of different tracks. Oh. And obviously, Drake has called himself Michael Jackson, or or you know, has referred to himself as Mike, or he's going to beat Michael Jackson, or he's going to one up yeah, Michael it's Jackson. Like, it's like Drake and Michael Jackson as far yeah, as yeah. Like, uh, I'm going to do that, Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so he's just basically, and I think people are like saying, I, I think people have read into this, like Prince is the better, is better than Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson is more mainstream and all that. They're reading into that. But all I think he's saying is Michael Jackson died first. Yeah. <laughs> like you will die before I will. I think that's, I think that's Why literally talking murder. I think that's literally all Please he's saying. Please don't kill each other. <laughs> Please don't kill each other. I want a pe I want peaceful rap beef. That's a K with all these nines. He's gonna see at Pet Cemetery. The way that he says "fella bum" after this shit is, bum. I think it, I think it goes so hard. Uh, yeah, you can play the last part. That is kind of hard. So it's so hard. First of all, I think Future should just do hooks from now on because this shit is hard. The hook is hard, dude. Future's uh, Future's forty years old. <laughs> Is Isn't that really? crazy? I think literally 40 years old. And the fact that he can, if. No way. There's not another 40 year old on planet Earth that can, like. That can say. 17 year olds are going to be listening to this, like, <laughs> fucking vibing. That is like, so Like, thinking true. this is the coolest shit, future age. 40 years old. And to just have this much swag and delivery and. Wow. Just the cadence and the a, flow and the... And Drake's 37, right? 37, yeah. 38. Dude, it's all, old, it's all old beef. I wonder how old... Ken, Kendrick's probably 36. Is this whack? Is, is this weird? Nah, I don't think so. <laughs> he did say... $20,000 ring, I'll put my finger down her throat. If I lose a carrot, she might choke. But she's going to swallow. She's a goat. A forty-year-old saying that is yeah. weird, <laughs> bro. It, the what he raps about is it should not. He's been rapping. He's probably been rapping the same since he was twenty-four. I'll put a about what is the it? same shit. He says he's gonna put an eight ball up her nose. It's gonna make her pussy leak, and I then mean, he goes. He and then he goes. <laughs> he That's make, weird. He, he makes it. Yeah, it's That's cool. a weird thing to say when it's you're cool that old. To me, future, do you? Um, but yeah, the 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 Kendrick. I think the Kendrick verse is fucking sick. Yeah, it's good. It's good. K with it, all these it was nines. like ju it was just perfect enough to like not be too much to be like, damn, like what? Yeah, like, like why are you going so hard? Good? Yeah, it was good enough, or it was perfectly formulated, and this is why they're the best. Perfectly formulated, and I feel like at a right time, to where like nothing else was really going on. Yeah, J Cole had some jabs. Definitely some you way really more seen jabs Drake than and I Future thought. Future together, and then suddenly, bam! Future and Metro Boom and coming out with this song, and I've heard and I heard the um the like leak of this song before it came out, and I thought it was just Metro and Future, and I was like, this beat sounds crazy. Oh, when Travis Scott Future was like, sounds, play that and shit, play yeah, that and Travis shit. Scott was fucking screaming yeah. about it, and I was like, oh, this song's about to go crazy, and then it comes out, and I hear the song, and it's playing, and then I hear Kendrick's on it, and I'm like, what the fuck? Like it was, it was yeah. very well, yeah, it was thought like out, and and put together perfectly, just for it wasn't too much. This is something. I mean, Drake doesn't have to address it. He will, but it's enough to yeah. Like this I, is this is fun Drake, for Drake. The thing with I the, think this is fun for Drake. <clears throat> there are two there are two ways to look at it. Or there's a couple ways to look at it, but people are wondering why Drake because Drake Duppy was out immediately. Pusha T said some shit. Duppy was out immediately, like the next day. Yeah. And then Duppy was crazy. And then by the way, yeah, it was. And then fucking uh, charged up. Meek Mill went on and said, "Yo, Drake doesn't write his shit." 
charged up was out in like three hours and four days later back to back and then four days later back to back because meek didn't respond yeah drake makes a song saying back to back like fuck, i'll just put him out I'll back just to back do just another know one you can't fuck with me in this and this comes out meek fucking he never responded to the himself <laughs> drake never responded to the control verse j cole i mean you're not really gonna do that. j cole said j cole said he called kendrick when the control verse came out and said why yo why i just want to know why like do you want me to respond i will but he was like he just did it for competitive yeah, purposes yeah. dude this which is I, a which shot. i feel like this is a shot yeah, at j cole i feel like the the control verse i feel like was more like competitive rap and just to be like you, like y'all need yeah. to know i'm the best because the way which he says get, tyler mac it's... miller though no, tyler mac miller like you're not calling out tyler the creator yeah, and mac yeah. miller <laughs> r.i.p um but this was definitely a little more personal and i wonder why it is the though. big three it's just big me and i wonder what it could what is it that makes it personal like that just like them thinking just on some competitive rap shit or is there like some some fake shit happen drake fucked over future no, i bet you i bet you it's all because like kendrick was on take care and take care is is the album that had all that all, all that controversy around it where like the weekend he linked up with the weekend and the weekend apparently wrote some of the songs or the hooks for some of the songs and so and the and then Kendrick was on that and then Kendrick ever since then has kind of been talking like you know you don't write your shit and all that I feel like it stemmed from like way back then but I don't know and then the future shit is over a girl and the metro apparently, shit is yeah. over a girl apparently too so where does Drake go from here I don't think Drake's it's gonna respond and the thing is is I don't care if Drake responds I want fucking j cole to respond yeah, true. but you know j cole's not going if j cole came up with a diss track it would be it'd be like gandhi boxing Fuck, man. it would be like it would be like j cole is so good martin luther king slapping someone and the thing it'd is be someone I, so peaceful doing something so what's, what's crazy is i think j cole usually like when i think of my favorite drake like i'm thinking 2010 to like 2017 when I'm thinking yeah, my yeah. favorite J. Cole, I'm almost thinking like the past eight years. Dude, like J. up Cole until is, now. Like J. Cole's like Drake right now stopped. is not my favorite Drake. J. Cole right now is still my favorite J. Cole. Yeah, that's a good point. Like if he's on a if J. Cole's on a feature, like he's going he, to body it. Bro, it, any type of feature, whether it's like a girly dude, song, dude, J. A, Cole's a Nicki been Minaj bodying features. Feature fucking J. Cole has been bodying features forever. And I don't really, I, for so some, I don't know if I, it's like lame of me or like girly of me or pussy of me to think like, yo, if, if two people do a song together, I feel like that's not competitive. I feel like they're just doing a song together. Like the Renegade thing is like, I don't care. No one won that. It's just a J, it's just a Jay-Z and Eminem song. It's just yeah. a song they do together. Yeah, I don't really care about that. But like so many people think like, yo, you can't have him on your song because he will he will body you yeah. on your song. And even first person shooter, I'm like J. Cole got that. That's what I'm saying. It's like J. Cole definitely had the better verse on first person shooter. But so it doesn't good, look though. like it, it didn't I don't seem think like Drake, is, Drake wasn't Drake, like yeah. bar up. Like he's just first person shooter mode. Like Drake was making the song. J. Cole was making the fucking verse you expect. From, that, that's kind of what I was thinking. That's what that's how I think about it. But people are super competitive in all this shit. And and that's why I'm saying, like, on the J. Cole, on these J. Cole tracks where he's talking about Steppas, he's talking about, which is Kendrick's last album, he's talking about DNA and, and uh, hu being humble and not selling, not having good album sales or, like, using racial, racial discrimination to sell your albums. Like, those are all things he said on verses yeah. that aren't, and Direct I never, pe I never shots. peeped that until like these random YouTube videos, random like TikToks. breaking shit down. Dude, they are direct shots at people Kendrick. are hip hop heads. I love that shit. Yeah, this is I, why I can't I wouldn't do this it is myself. Why I, I can't make fun of Taylor Swift. This is why I can't make fun of Swifties. Is because they'll uh, break down everything she said about all her exes. What if? Ooh, and people are like, this yeah. is so lame. And I'm like, well, I Taylor's kinda, got bars uh, and I shit. I kind of do the same like, thing. Taylor, Swifty fans are like, yo, Taylor said Ta this. Well, see, if, if, like if, triple entendre. Like, 
if Swifties came out and set and broke down Taylor's verses like that, it, people would they would get more respect from that the would rap. actually be kind of funny. Yo, instead of like, oh my god, can you believe it? Would be like, yo, she said this shit about John Mayer. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, that'd be fucking that funny. That shit's hard. She makes a song with Metro. <laughs> <laughs> let's play uh let's play metro's uh disc his his verse right after yeah, this yeah the play metro's verse keep going just click play before you won't go as you like that niggas from the bottom really like step in the balances if you like i do really like i why can't i sit at sit at my computer and come up with this shit You know he was in that beat shit like. Like why why couldn't you like you're downstairs and you hear my room upstairs in the scuff house and you come up and I'm just ten in it ten And you're like what the fuck Dude you're fucking next up Oh shit Yeah that shit goes so hard Well um, I'm still team Drake. Yeah. Just please. Drake's got to say, he, does, he doesn't though. He I really, saw that. I saw if that. Drake says nothing, I, I wouldn't care. When yeah, but Drake people are going to When Drake was out, because I was a Meek fan. Lately, I don't know. A lot of... <laughs> Like, a lot of stuff going on but i i was uh, i was uh, like bro i was listening to meek before drake like i was listening to meek mill philadelphia yeah like street dvd freestyles like in 2000 era. fucking seven yeah so when meek and then meek blows up like i was like i was like this is a dude who like i was a fan of and he's like he's he was up. broke as shit while i was a fan of him doing mixtapes right. and like now he's multi-millionaire he blew the fuck up he's one of the top names in hip-hop or in rap, whatever. And then he he's throwing jabs at Drake. And then Drake disses him. And then Meek doesn't really respond. And then Drake disses him with back to back. And he still doesn't respond. No, he he responded after he responded after back to back. Did he? It just wasn't good. But then dude, Meek put out a diss. Because Meek Meek almost seemed like he was like not into it like he, he don't even need to do that and i'm sitting there like you, you need, need to address this immediately <laughs> and you need to come harder than you've ever came no diddy no well maybe diddy. yeah maybe diddy with diddy <laughs> and he did not and after literally after that drake shit drake and meek like i haven't really been able to listen to meek like it just did really? and I, I think it did something to him. like the whole culture i think kind of looks at him like a like a softy kind of really? clown and it, and it almost hurts to say because i think he i think he probably is a really good guy like he did come from where he come from he came from the bottom he but like the whole i don't know just drake fucking destroyed him and i felt like he didn't even try to like fight back and it just like turned me off Dude, of him the, no, the, so drake put out two diss tracks Meek put out two. Well, actually, Drake kind of put out three because Summer Sixteen, the first half of Summer Sixteen, is is about that shit. I let the diss record drop. You were right below me, fella. Fella, like that's basically uh, and and Meek put out a a a second diss track. I forgot the name of it. Can you look up can, uh, Meekhead? Can you look up uh, diss track by Meek or Meek Mill Drake diss? And dude, the shit goes crazy, but it was too late. Really? I don't I remember back to back and then he put out something called saying that Drake likes to pee on people or something. Is it wanna know? Is it this? No, it's not. Yes, yeah, it's that. It's the wanna know Drake this. The top video. Wait, was it? I have no idea. I don't I don't even remember him responding. That's how like unaffected it may have been. Wait, someone said 20 25 seconds in hits different. What is 25 oh, seconds? Oh no, what do you do? If a nigga ain't really putting it in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
<laughs> Wait, play it again. I don't even want to know if I'm putting it in. If a nigga ain't really putting it in, but acting like he's putting it in, nigga still letting it fly like it's cool. I really want to know, man. Shit getting different out here. It's getting spooky. Bro, I'm telling you, Meek's been like. Maybe this isn't Meek's the one. been looked at like a clown. And it breaks my heart. Maybe this is not the one. I, I don't I he don't put remember. Out he put out something that was fucking fire. But he put it out when we were in the scuff house. So it, it had to have been like 2016. A timeline. Yeah, because I remember back to back was the 60, 60 50. Yeah, it was like the tweet and then. <laughs> it was the tweet and then the, and then the fucking uh, Gary, Gary, charged Gary, up. Gary, respect, respect. And then back to back, and then that came out. But I think he put out something else. I can't I fucking remember. remember. It's been so long. I just feel like it was so ineff ineffective. Uh, no, I just, I but uh, I did care. see another Aiden Ross clip because apparently he fucking knows everyone. And he was like, he was like, uh, I know. I talked to a producer at a party who told me that Kendrick already has a full diss track ready. I mean, I I actually believe that. So, like, maybe that's the reason Drake hasn't responded. It's because his one of his friends was like, "Yo, by the way, if you respond to this, he's gonna drop this." I don't know if they look at it like that. I don't know, man. I don't know, but also, I think it. I think it is like that because Drake apparently had another pusher, pusher, another push a T diss. But he was like, "It's." But Jay Prince even. told him not to put it out. And apparently, Jay and Prince also, can bro, kill it's people. fucking push a T. No one gives a fuck. <laughs> like, I'm not trying to hear a push a T diss, and neither is no one else. I, don't think, I think that's what the hit. only people that wanted it were push a T fans. So, like, please let push a T be like kind of relevant right now. You might be right, but but this is Kendrick. It's not push a T. This is bigger than Meek Mill. That because Meek Mill, I think Meek versus Drake is like the biggest. Is like the biggest dis, is like the biggest rivalry of our generation. It's because we haven't had a Jay Z Nas. We haven't yeah. had two people that big. I mean, we're about to have another one, I guess, with Drake and Kendrick and J Cole. Dude, that's why I want Cole to respond. But it so it, it bad. seemed weak. It's it seems kind of weird if it was like. I mean, it's obviously not going to be like Drake and J Cole hopping on a song and dissing. That would be so that would, lame. Yeah, that, that would, would be, be whack so as fuck. Lame. Like a little two v one. Fuck that. Kendrick would love that if that happened. Like the amount yeah. of shit he could say, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Where, I don't know where Drake goes from here. I, I personally, I don't care if he responds. I would like to. I would like for him to respond and something like, come responded. with some crazy shit. Honestly, I'm more looking forward to see if Jay. I just. I don't think Jay. Jay Cole's gonna, gonna come out with something, and I don't think so either. I think he's, he's gonna come out with something, but it's just gonna be some jabs. Yeah. And you're going to know he's talking about Kendrick, but it's not going to be like what Kendrick just did. And it's basically saying like, listen, I'm, ag right. I'm acknowledging this right now. We all know who I'm talking about. They can't fuck with me. I don't think J. Cole is going to come out and like do anything like that. It'll just be like some more jabs. God, but but I want a back to back but if to where did. like J. Cole comes out with a back to back to where like I'm talking to you. This, this entire song is about you. The thing with back to back is... I think like Drake had been hanging out with the fucking King of the Dot guys and like they were and the, it, he was so because I think he goes on record and says that like yo he hasn't responded yet I think he he's either too scared or he's unprepared so just attack him again and that's when he did back to back and like uh, it, you know that ain't your girls tour that ain't a world tour it's your girls tour that that's not what she means when she means you should open up more like that those are those are battle rap bars. Yeah. And you know Meek Mill's not gonna have battle rap bars. He has hype, trap, like, 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 like house party bar, like bars. And so Drake was always gonna win that, in my opinion. Yeah, unless, of unless, it's Drake. unless Meek came out with some crazy hype shit, but that was never gonna happen. Kendrick is different. Kendrick is different. Kendrick will. Kendrick does scare me <laughs> a little bit. Kendrick is not Meek Mill. I don't want Kendrick to embarrass my king. My king. So that's why I think it's. I don't. I don't know. I don't think anyone's scared of each other in in, in any of those situations. But that being well, they said, got too much fucking money to even give a shit. 
I don't but know, this bro. might be. They have so much money know. that this is the only thing that really is, might get it's fucking Kendrick under him. Fucking Lamar, dude. It's not. It's no one to. I mean, he took a he took a break with his last album. It was very artistic. But like, good this Kendrick is, fucking, is fucking good. It's this, can we this play? Is this is guy. gonna be random, and I'm kind of just gonna get off this topic. Can we play Ab Soul featuring Kendrick Lamar? I want this kind of Kendrick because I, I am up here just deriding Drake. Turn me up some. Dude, this is so long ago. Just go to like the middle of the video. Yeah, like a little more. Wait, little before. Dude, look how young he is. Come, 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 come now. now. Talk, 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 talk the world. I'm about to come, about to come, now. come now. I've been a pro. But now I'm profound. 13 Co years ago. Restraining from the doja. Imagine if I spoke, I'd probably come up with a quote. So heavy you forget every album you heard. You heard from Hova. Like dressed like a regular fucking Joe. Taking kids to school. A pool for the spit, dive in, I'm about to drool. You drown trying to backstroke on concepts that I wrote. I was a black sheep, but now I'm just a goat. And I'm about to heat low. Married to the gang, Joe. This is hip hop at its finest. What you find is in a zip lock. That's what I got on. Ah, shit. I murdered. My pot holes is turbulence. I'm in the sky with it. When you listen to Kendrick, just I just love a soulful, like, just bars Kendrick. I don't know because, all right, you can pause it. Yeah, I'm just being, I was just being such a Drake dick rider. I just had to point out the fact that I do love me some Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar. Dude, I think when Kendrick is going, he's like, dude. He's like fucking unbelievable. Well, I guess only time only will time tell. Will only, only time, time will tell. Maybe by the next fly Regardless, cast. Regardless, I'm here for it. Yeah. I'm supporting. I support all three of them. I just hope Drake. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I love Drake and I, I've, I've loved his. He's been my favorite artist for a very, very long time. That being said, if they keep going, I'm here for it. Yeah, I'm here for it. Fucking run that shit up. Well, I guess we'll find out in the next. Well, I don't know. We'll see. This could take a minute. We don't know. We'll never. I Maybe mean, next flycast we'll, we'll know. know. Also, I think we're gonna try to get our top ten Wayne verses. I already have mine. I have some in my head. I got mine down. But I'm like, these are my favorite. That's, that's and that, is that that's that's, that's what it should that's be. That's what it should. I be. I was like, if people hear some of these, they're gonna hear the like the audio shit. The beat ain't crazy. Oh, you're but it, like it's like, like some old mixtape, shitty audio. You random six hundred and eighty seven views on YouTube. Like, <laughs> like it's not gonna be the most, I guess, popular shit. But we oh, we're gonna work on oh. our Lil Wayne top tens as well, oh. and uh, bring that to you guys. But um, yeah, this is gonna do it for today's episode. Episode one hundred. I don't even know. 105, 106, 105, something like something that. Like Thank that. you guys so much for watching. Until next go, time. I'm going to go at a vision now. It's just going to go at a vision. Peace out. Oh, wait. Me, Dad. Play that outro music. <laughs>